So, but I want to take this conversation in a slightly different direction now. The Portuguese economy likely to show positive growth this year, probably about 1%. This is an economy that is gradually turning around. And part of the reason for that is tourism. Represents about 12% of GDP. Very pleased to have with me the man who runs the tourist authority here, the National Tourist Authority, uh, Jao Cotrim de Figueiredo. Good to see you, sir. Good morning, Thanks for coming. So just, just for, for the benefit of our audience uh, around the world, what is the state of the tourism industry like in Portugal today? Well, it's fair to say that Portugal is living, in, in tourism terms, one of the best periods of its um, recent history. We have grown by about 30% over the last three years in terms of the number of tourists and over 40% in terms of receipts. So this not only shows that it's um, buoyant and solid growth, but also that we're growing faster in terms of revenues than we are in terms of number of people, which means that the gradual upgrade of the level of tourism in Portugal is occurring and that's very good news for us. So as far as um, the recovery from the financial crisis is concerned, Portugal is back. It's like 2007-2008. Are we back to those levels yes, or most, have we passed them now? Yes, we have passed them in most of the variables and we are um, uh, also being able to grow in the regions which were less known. Um, for instance, we're talking about many of your British viewers, they're discovering parts of the Portugal which are not Madeira, which are not Algarve, which were a traditional uh, destination for, for British tourists. And also our friends from France and Germany are increasing very much in those regions of the country, in the interior of the country, which were less known. And this year, particularly, we're very pleased to register a sharp increase in visitors from the US, meaning that the uh, markets outside of Europe, the it's not, it's not an emerging market per se, but it's a very important market in terms of future. So the economy is recovering, but there are two issues that I think anybody in tourism has to worry about at the moment. One is obviously terrorism after the Paris attacks. And the other one really is, is just where fresh investment is going to come from, because banks are still reluctant to un unleash fresh money to put to work in the economy. So I wonder if you could just address those for us. To what extent are those going to hold back growth next year here? Let me start with the second one, financing. I don't think it has been a problem. I think, especially in Portugal, tourism has proven such an attractive business that um, there has been financing available at its, uh, several levels. Being at a startup level, where, where we are very active, and I'd like to come back to that later, being at a more mature company uh, level, I think financing has been available because projects can prove to be very profitable. The security issue is, um, is a much more uh, structural concern for us, both in terms of our national tourism and in terms of international tourism. Portugal is also very active in the international organizations, the World Tourist Organization, the European Travel Commission, the OECD, and in all these bodies what we've tried to defend is this. Tourism is the industry which can bring people together and make these differences um, less marked. And that's this proximity between uh, peoples visiting each other that will also help the tensions being lower than they are today. And it's absolutely crucial for tourism worldwide to keep growing and for Portugal sharing that growth to keep growing as well. Uh, that this the safety aspect is uh, maintained. So what can we do? What we can do is not to take this situation at the moment as an excuse to limit travel um, uh, between countries excessively. See, because um, border controls, security controls, visa controls are not the answer to uh, avoid a lot of the security threats that we've seen in, a, in, the, in the past, in the recent past, unfortunately. And we need to be much more clever in the way we control those type of threats. As a whole, the tourist industry depends on having safety throughout the world. We do have safety in Portugal, thank God for that, and it's been a major, a major aspect in our growth. But we need to have it worldwide, because without the worldwide growing industry, we won't have a successful industry in Portugal. Mr. Figueroa, very nice to speak with you. Thank you so much for, for coming to see us here. Um, so let me send it back to you in London. Um, this is a, um, a, a subject that is very important for the Portuguese economy, clearly with in excess of 10% of GDP coming out of tourism. And it looks like this, uh, this latest deal with Cristiano Ronaldo and the, uh, the Pichonara Group is only going to be a, a, a positive for the Portuguese tourism story. Let me send it back to you in London. All right, Jeff, thank you so much for that. Let